You're standing in the middle of a storm. Everything around you is changing, swirling in chaos. Yet, you remain calm, centered, and unmoved. This isn't just a metaphor. It's a way of life for Stoics who mastered the art of finding stability amidst change. Today, you're going to learn how to harness these ancient principles to stand firm in the ever-changing world around you, finding stability amidst change. From the teachings of Marcus Aurelius to the wisdom of Epictetus, we'll explore practical strategies that will help you navigate life's storms with grace and resilience. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the difference between what's transient and what's eternal in your life, but also how to let go of the former and embrace the latter, transforming your approach to life's inevitable changes. Chapter 1. Understanding Change In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Heraclitus, change is the only constant in life. Yet why does change often feel like a storm, chaotic and unsettling? It's because deep down we crave stability and predictability. But the Stoics offer us a different perspective. Change is not only inevitable, but also an opportunity for growth and transformation. Consider this scenario. You've just lost your job, a situation many would see as a personal storm. The initial reaction might be panic, fear, or even despair. However, Adopting a Stoic mindset means seeing this change as a chance to reassess your career path, explore new opportunities, or even pursue a passion you've been sidelining for too long. This is the essence of finding stability amidst change, transforming an apparent crisis into a stepping stone for personal development. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When we face change, our first instinct might be to control the external circumstances, a futile effort that only leads to frustration and disappointment. Instead, the Stoics teach us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, perceptions, and actions. This is where our true power lies. By embracing change as an integral part of the human experience, we begin to see it not as a disruptor of peace, but as a catalyst for growth. Every change, whether it's a new job, a move to a different city, or even a change in relationship status, challenges us to adapt, learn, and ultimately evolve. This evolution is the foundation of our stability, for it is rooted in our ability to withstand and thrive amidst the fluctuations of life. As we delve deeper into Stoic teachings in the next chapter, The Stoic's Anchor, we'll explore how to cultivate this inner stability by distinguishing between what is in our control and what isn't. This understanding is key to navigating life's storms, not just with resilience, but with a sense of purpose and calmness that remains unshaken by the chaos of the outside world. Stay tuned to learn how to anchor yourself in the midst of life's swirling changes. Chapter 2. The Stoic's Anchor Epictetus, a slave-turned-Stoic philosopher, once boldly stated, Some things are within our control and others not. This simple yet profound insight is the cornerstone of Stoic tranquility. It teaches us to differentiate between what we can influence, our thoughts, feelings and actions, and what we cannot, the vast majority of external events and other people's actions. This distinction is our anchor in the storm of change. Let's apply this to a common scenario. You're stuck in traffic and running late for an important meeting, the frustration mounts. You can feel your stress levels rising. Now let's pause and apply Epictetus's wisdom. Can you control the traffic? No. But can you control your reaction to this situation? Absolutely. Instead of succumbing to frustration, you can choose to listen to a podcast, enjoy some music, or use the time to mentally prepare for your meeting. 
The situation hasn't changed, but your perception of it has. This shift in focus from the uncontrollable to the controllable is liberating and empowering. This principle doesn't just apply to minor inconveniences like traffic. It's equally relevant in more significant aspects of our lives, such as our careers, relationships and personal goals. When facing any form of change or challenge, ask yourself, what aspects of this situation can I control? This question guides your energy and efforts towards productive and positive actions, leaving behind the stress of trying to manage the uncontrollable. Now you might wonder, how can I strengthen my ability to make this distinction in the heat of the moment? The answer lies in practice and reflection. Start by observing your reactions to small daily inconveniences or changes. Reflect on whether your response was directed towards something within your control or if you were attempting to control the uncontrollable. Gradually, this awareness will extend to larger aspects of your life, allowing you to remain calm and focused, regardless of the external chaos. In our next chapter, Building Your Inner Citadel, we'll explore how to further develop this stoic mindset, teaching you to not only distinguish what you can control, but also how to perceive and interact with the uncontrollable in a way that strengthens your resilience and inner peace. This will be your guide to building an unshakable foundation of stability, no matter what life throws your way. Chapter 3. Building Your Inner Citadel The concept of the inner citadel is central to Stoic philosophy, representing the fortress within us that protects our inner peace from external changes and challenges. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, often reflects on the idea that our experiences are shaped not by events themselves, but by our judgments about them. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Imagine receiving criticism at work, or encountering negative feedback. It's easy to react defensively or with self-doubt. However, by building your inner citadel, you can perceive this criticism differently. Instead of seeing it as a personal attack, view it as an opportunity for growth or a source of valuable insights. This shift in perception doesn't change the feedback, but transforms its impact on you, turning potential harm into a constructive force. This practice extends beyond dealing with criticism it applies to any situation where our initial perception might undermine our stability. Faced with a personal setback, rather than labeling it a failure, see it as a lesson or a redirect toward a path better suited for you. This doesn't mean ignoring the pain or discomfort that comes with setbacks, but rather choosing to see beyond them to the growth and possibilities they can catalyze. The power of perception also teaches us empathy and understanding in our interactions with others. When someone acts in a way that might initially seem hurtful or unfair, our inner citadel helps us consider their actions possible reasons. Maybe they're under stress or facing challenges we're unaware of. This perspective doesn't excuse negative behavior, but helps us respond with patience and compassion rather than immediate judgment or anger. As we continue our journey, the next chapter, The Eternal Values, will delve into the core principles that should guide our actions and decisions. By aligning our lives with these eternal values, we solidify the foundation of our inner citadel, ensuring our stability and peace are not just reactions to external events, but a state of being. Stay tuned to discover how these timeless virtues can illuminate your path through the chaos of change. Chapter 4. The Eternal Values At the heart of Stoicism lie the concepts of virtue and wisdom, the pillars upon which a fulfilling life is built. Stoics believe that living in accordance with these principles is the key to achieving eudaimonia, or a flourishing life. But what does it mean to live virtuously and wisely in a world that's constantly changing? Consider the virtue of courage. 
It's not just about bravery in the face of danger, but also about the courage to stand by your principles, even when they're unpopular, or when doing so may lead to personal loss. I imagine you're in a situation where you witness unfair treatment or injustice at work. The easy path might be to stay silent, to go along with the majority, to avoid conflict. However, living virtuously means having the courage to speak up, to defend what is right, even if it means standing alone. Wisdom, on the other hand, is about more than just knowledge. It's the practical application of this knowledge in our daily lives. It's about making choices that align with our core values, even in the face of external pressures to conform. Wisdom is what guides us to ask ourselves before reacting to a challenging situation. Is this within my control? Can I change the outcome? Or can I only change my perception of it? Living in accordance with virtue and wisdom does not guarantee a life free from difficulty or change. Instead, it offers something more profound. The ability to navigate life's inevitable storms with grace and integrity. It teaches us that, while we cannot control the world around us, we can control the virtues by which we live. And in doing so, we can find stability and peace. As we move forward, our next chapter, Living with Purpose, will explore how to integrate these eternal values into our everyday actions and decisions. This alignment not only enhances our personal growth, but also deepens our connection with others and the world around us. Stay with us to learn how living purposefully can be your compass through the transient nature of life. Chapter 5 Living with Purpose To live a life aligned with the eternal is to focus on what truly matters, transcending the fleeting and often trivial concerns of daily life. This alignment means prioritizing values like virtue, wisdom, justice and courage over external success, fame or wealth. But how can we live with purpose in a world that constantly pulls our attention towards the transient? Consider the story of Cato the Younger, a Stoic who lived with unwavering integrity and purpose. Despite facing immense political pressure and personal risk, Cato consistently chose actions that aligned with his principles, demonstrating courage and moral clarity. His life reminds us that living with purpose isn't about achieving outward success, but about staying true to our core values, even in the face of adversity. To start aligning with the eternal, begin by defining what your core values are. What principles do you want to guide your life? Once you've identified these, reflect on your daily actions and decisions. Do they reflect these values? When faced with a decision, big or small, ask yourself, does this choice move me closer to my core values? Is this action in harmony with the kind of person I want to be? This alignment might mean making changes in your life. Perhaps it involves ending toxic relationships, changing careers, or simply adjusting your daily habits to reflect your values more closely. These changes can be challenging, but they are essential steps towards living a purposeful and fulfilling life. As we venture into our next chapter, Stoicism in Action, we'll explore concrete exercises and habits that can help you live in accordance with Stoic principles. These strategies will not only support your journey towards living with purpose, but also equip you to face life's inevitable changes and challenges with grace and resilience. Join us to discover how to put these timeless teachings into practice, transforming your life from the inside out. Chapter 6 Stoicism in Action now that we've explored the foundations of Stoicism and the importance of living in alignment with eternal values, it's time to turn philosophy into practice. Everyday resilience is about more than just enduring hardship. It's about thriving amidst life's challenges by applying Stoic principles in practical, actionable ways. One key strategy is the practice of morning and evening reflections. 
Each morning, set aside a few minutes to prepare for the day ahead. Consider the challenges you might face and remind yourself of the stoic virtues you wish to embody in your responses. In the evening, reflect on your actions and thoughts throughout the day. Were you able to maintain your composure and act in alignment with your values? What could you have done differently? This practice, inspired by Seneca's letters, helps cultivate self-awareness and a mindful approach to daily living. Another powerful tool is the visualization technique known as Premeditatio Malorum, or the Premeditation of Evils. This involves contemplating potential difficulties or challenges you might encounter, not to induce anxiety but to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally for adversity. By envisioning how you would apply stoic principles in these situations, you strengthen your resilience and reduce the impact of future stresses. Let's apply this to a common scenario. You're about to enter a potentially heated discussion with a colleague. Before the conversation, you visualize the encounter, imagining your colleague's objections and your calm, reasoned responses. You remind yourself of the stoic principle of controlling what you can, your reactions and words, and accepting what you cannot, the opinions and behavior of your colleague. This mental rehearsal equips you with the composure and resilience needed to navigate the discussion constructively. As we move to the final chapter, The Stoic Way to Happiness, we'll delve into how embracing the Stoic approach to change can lead to deeper happiness and fulfillment. This isn't about resigning yourself to fate, but about actively engaging with life in a way that aligns with your deepest values. Stay tuned to discover how to embrace change, not just as an inevitable part of life, but as a powerful catalyst for personal growth and contentment. Chapter 7. The Stoic Way to Happiness In our final chapter, we explore the culmination of Stoic practice, embracing change as a pathway to true happiness and fulfillment. Stoicism teaches us that change, whether perceived as good or bad, is an integral part of the natural order. Embracing change is not about passive acceptance, but about recognizing the opportunities for growth and learning that change brings. Marcus Aurelius once remarked, accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs. This powerful statement underscores the stoic belief in amor fati, or the love of one's fate. It's the idea that everything that happens is not only necessary, but beneficial for your growth and development as a rational and virtuous human being. To embrace change, start by reflecting on your relationship with past changes in your life. Consider times when what seemed like a setback or loss later revealed itself as a valuable lesson or opportunity. Perhaps a job loss led to a more fulfilling career path or a failed relationship taught you more about yourself and what you value in a partner. These reflections can help shift your perspective on current and future changes, seeing them not as obstacles but as stepping stones. Another practical step is to cultivate gratitude for the present moment, regardless of its challenges. By focusing on what you have rather than what you've lost or fear losing, you reinforce your ability to adapt and find joy even in times of change. This doesn't mean ignoring pain or difficulty, but rather acknowledging and appreciating the good that exists alongside it. We've journeyed together through the eye of change, armed with the wisdom of Stoicism, to find stability and happiness in the flux of life. Remember, the essence of Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or passively accepting fate. It's about recognizing what we can control embracing change as an opportunity for growth and living in accordance with our deepest values. If you found value in these teachings, please like, comment and subscribe. Your support helps us share the transformative power of Stoicism with more individuals seeking guidance and resilience in their lives. Click the video on the left for more Stoic wisdom. Stay Stoic.